performance was like in front of your hometown crowd? Man, hold on, hold on. First of all, New York City, where you at? No, 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 no. hold on, hold on. I didn't do that right, I didn't do that right. New York City, where you at? Listen, man, it, man, it always means the world to perform in front of my home crowd, New York City at Madison Square Garden. Man, y'all make me want to turn up every single time, man. Every single time I fight in here, I get a knockout. Every single time I fight in here, I get a stoppage. I love y'all. Y'all feed off that energy. Y'all keep doing y'all thing. I'm keep doing my thing. 19 fights coming in for your opponent. Never been stopped. This was a statement performance. When he dropped it, reminded me of Marquez Pacquiao. He got up, fortunately, but what did it feel like to connect on that right? Man, I mean, I felt like like, you know, when he just kind of like leaned into the punch, it just landed at the right place. And the, just the levers that I had, it was just like the right the right point. And, uh, you know, but he's a, he's a tough competitor, though, man. He's a really good really good guy. I like how he uses his feet, uses his angles pretty well, knows how to get out in certain certain uh, uh, situations. But, man, you know, we, we was ready for everything, man. Our training camp was great. Everything went great, man. I just want to appreciate everybody for coming through. Walk me through the process of breaking him down and figuring him out because his southpaw stance, he was moving. What was that like? Uh, man. You know, it was definitely something to figure out because at first in the beginning, you know, I was uh, noticing he kept getting out on my left side and I kept giving him the exit route. And then, you know, Coach K, he was like, yo, listen, cut that exit right off. Make sure, you know, you kind of step there before he steps there. And then that's when I started to follow up my hooks, probably like round three, round four. And, four. and uh, you know, we kind of started to set up different looks after a while. Featherweight division is on notice. I'm sure we'll see Shu on March Real 2nd, quick. Joe. One last thing. One last thing I want to say. Now, one last thing I want to say, man. In the words of Mike Tyson, but I mean every single word here too. I'm the best ever. There's nobody in the bosom nobody like me. I'm certainly listening. I'm Jack Dempsey. There's nobody from their club. There's no one that can match me. My style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. And I'm just ferocious. I'm much a harder when his children. Praise be to God. What it do? What it do? It's 903 Boxing. I'm your host, Charles J. Sight mine, shout out to my audience, shout out to those that's rocking with me. Yeah, we back in the kitchen. There's a whole lot of goddamn sauce in this pot, man. Let's get to the shit. Bruce Shoe Shoe Currington, straight up out of Shoe York. I don't mean New York, I mean Shoe York. From now on, I will never say New York again. It's Shoe York City, man. Shoe York City, man. Um, Bruce Shoe York. Uh, Carrington <laughs> will become a superstar real soon, real real soon. It it just it just it ain't no way around it. There's no way around it. Um, he that. Um, he really that, bro. I've I've made several videos and shout out to uh, uh Bruce Carrington, man. Uh, uh, he came in my comments. Uh, I think the last video I made about him, he said thank you very much, brother. And shout out to that. I appreciate that, bro. Um, I've seen him do interviews with several YouTubers. And, and shout out to yourself, giving yourself to the people. I'm just going to tell you, bro. Um, shoot, shoot, man. He um, he got it all. I'm, I'm, And it's not just in the ring, bro. He got everything it takes to become a superstar. Like, even Boots is as spectacular as I say he is. The shit in the ring. But when it come to other things, Boots, Boots don't even got what Shushu got. No fight. Not even De Devin and Shakur in the ring is the shit. It's the shit. Shushu got some different shit. He different. He different. It's, uh, for one, he do great interviews. Um... I, I, I'm going to try to explain this shit. He's, he's a... I, I'm going to give you the word. The shit that they try to say about T.O., the showman, that's what the fuck he is. He puts on the show, his interviews, he... My style is impeccable. He hit the, the Mike Tyson. You know what I'm talking about. I am the greatest. And, 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 and all that shit. He hit that shit, bro. He just... He explosive, not just in the ring, but even outside the ring. He say the shit that a lot of fighters scared to say. I don't know no other. <laughs> I don't know no other black fighter that done said some shit like uh, Shushu done said about anyway. Cause all the rest of them praise him, and they think he is number one. It's 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 a lot of black fans that think anyway is better than Terrence Bud Crawford. But I'm not gonna get into anyway. But 
He's one of the only ones that done called him out early in his career. Early in his career. And I'm not being biased. I'm not being none of that. I've just, in, in 11 fights, I've seen more from him than I've seen from Inouye. Shushu would dog him. Dog him. And I'm going to tell you another thing. Uh, cool boy ain't got the hand speed that Shushu got. In a way, got hand speed, but he finna. I I don't I don't know who he, I don't know. Shushu might be faster. I don't know, and I think he more explosive, and I think he meaner, and 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 and, and that's the number one reason why he's my number one prospect. This and at this point, he's no longer a prospect. That's it. I, I just gotta quit calling him that. He's not a prospect. He's just my number one up and coming fighter. It's the meanness. Tell you something, bro. It ain't been a lot of fighters that's been mean. Not like that. Terrence Crawford mean. Uh, Tommy Harris was mean. Uh, Aaron Pry was mean. Yeah. Yeah, haggling them. It ain't just been a lot of mean fighters. Just mean. He one of them. And I'm going to tell you something, bro. He cut from that kind of cloth. You know how both of you say, you cut from a different kind of cloth. Yeah, he cut. <laughs> He cut from a uh, he cut from that eighties cloth, bro. When I see him fight, when I just he got an old school style. I'm gonna tell you who he remind me of. Two fighters combined: Tommy Hearns and Terrence Crawford. Even though Terrence Crawford ain't from the eighties, but he still even even Bud got an older style to me. He got a little throwback style, but Chuchu really got a throwback style. He fight like the fighters in the eighties. He fight he fight like the fighters in the eighties to me. And when I say that, I mean they just fought different, bro. They, they, they. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm tell you another thing. For, for one, fighters in the '80s sat down on their punches way more. They punched to hurt your ass. That's, that's, that's the major difference from today and the '80s. Fighters back then, whether they was a boxer or pure boxer, them motherfuckers, they punched to hurt your ass. Donald Curry was a pure box and this net. Even Michael Nunn, but Michael, the motherfuckers used to let leather go. They they punch with mean intentions uh, in the eighties, and that's what Shushu do. And he just mean, bro. And, I, and in my opinion, all them fighters was mean in the eighties. Mike McCallum was mean. Julian Jackson was mean. All them motherfuckers was mean. You know, rest in peace to Gerald McClellan. That motherfucker was mean. Them fighters was mean. Even in the 90s, 90s was a great era, but they weren't mean like them fighters in the 80s. That's why I say, I argue, it's either the 70s or the 80s that's the greatest era of boxing to me. I'd probably say the 80s. I want to say the 70s because Ali, and you know, no, nah, I got to say the 80s. I got to say the 80s. It was too much shit. It was too much shit. Yeah, Benitez, Hagler, Duran, them, all that, yeah. It, it was, it was, it was, it, yeah, Aaron Pryor and them, yeah, all that shit, yeah. Yeah, I think the 80s was the greatest era. But, um, he mean, bro. Shoe Shoe is mean. That's what, it, that's what I like the most about him. That's what I like the most about Bud. I like, it's that mean, sh just killer instinct. It's just dirt. You don't have to get it into him. You don't have to tell him to bring it out. It, it's just dirt, bro. Um, Bruce Shoe Shoe Carrington in 11 fights. He's 11 and 0 with seven knockouts. I've seen him do everything. I've seen him on the back foot. I've seen him just be a pure boxer. I've seen him be a, a, a slick counter puncher. I've seen him do all that. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've seen him, um, I've seen him fight on the inside. I've seen him walk and go get you. I've seen him do it all, bro, in 11 fights. You can't deny him, bro. I, I just, I, I'm going to tell you something. You know, black people, uh, we're very divided in everything we're involved in. And anything we're involved in is division. We cripping blood mentality thinking motherfuckers. They're just, we gang, we gang bang on promotions, bro. That's how petty. We gang bang, I, I fuck with Al, fuck Bob, I fuck with Bob, fuck Al, and no, nah, I fuck with Eddie. And you motherfuckers gang banging on some promoters that don't even know your fucking name. But anyway, I'm, I'm about to get into some other shit. I ain't gonna get into my black shit. Normally I do, but I'm gonna I'm trying to keep this on Bruce Shushu Carrington. Listen, black fans, um, I think he might be the first fighter that we damn near can all celebrate together. <laughs> no, no, no. I think he can be the first black fighter that all black fans love. 
Because all black fans don't love Terrence Bud Crawford, no matter how special he is. This motherfucker still saying that was a fluke win and, and saying that bullshit that T.O. said. And all he do is fight injured fighters and he ain't got, and he just better fight Boot. Now, it, it's, it's fans that still won't give him credit. Bruce Shushu Carrington is a fighter that I think all black fans can agree. <laughs> he the shit. He passed all tests. I just don't get it, bro. I just, it's just special. It's just special. It's just special, bro. It's special shit, bro. It's special shit. You just can't deny it. It just the stigma they use about black fighters. You you would never be able to use that shit again. <laughs> Because even though he's versatile, and there's some fights he gonna fight on the back foot, it's just he vicious, bro. Uh, he punch like them fighters in the '80s. He punch with mean intentions. A lot of fighters don't punch like that. It's a lot of fighters that's knockout artists, but they don't punch with mean intentions like that. It's a lot. Uh, not many fighters punch with mean intentions. I'm telling you, it's a difference. It is a difference. Them hooks to the body he throw, it, it is a difference. Bruce Yushu Carrington, I don't even know his whole arsenal. He's that versatile. Most fighters throw the same punches every fight. They either they either got a good straight right hand, they got a good left hook, uh, or some shit like that. Bruce Yushu Carrington, it ain't no punch I can identify. I love the uppercut. It just ain't no punch I can really identify. He just used whatever he see at the moment. I, I just don't get it. I, I, it's just, he, everything you want. If you like a brawler, he can be that. If you like a, a, a technically sound, sweet science, a box, he can be that. Whatever you want, he gonna give it to you. And like I said, bro, it ain't no back down. It ain't, you'll never be able to bully him. You just won't be able to do it, bro. It just, Bruce Shushu Carrington, and not only that, would make him so vicious and and so dangerous to me. I think I, I just don't know, bro. I I damn near, I damn near, I damn. I, I mean, I, I wrestled over this all morning. I, I damn near want to put him on my pound for pound list right now. That's just me. That's just me from the eye test. I I think he's better than a lot of fighters that's on the pound for pound list. How about that? I think he's different, bro. I just think he's different. I ain't overhyping this shit, bro. I'm telling you what I see with my own eyes. This shit right here. This shit right here. I just like him, bro. I just like him. I, and I like how I, 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 he just passed every test. Every single test. And I told you, my top two up and coming fighters, uh, I wrestle with it, but I got Shushu number one. And number two would be Abdullah. Abdullah's a different dude, too. Abdul is a dick and he punched with bit that over that overhand left he knocked old boy with out winning in his last uh Abdul is vicious too. Uh very versatile uh dog mean but shoot shoot the meanest. I ain't seen I don't think no fighter in boxing at this point outside of Bud is more mean than Shushu. And like I said, I that's just something I love. I love a fighter that just I love a fighter that, like Tommy Harris used to intimidate dudes before they got in the ring and shit. And Tommy Harris was mean. You know, Mike Tyson, Sonny Liston, you know. Mike Tyson, though, I don't really put him in that category. Sonny Liston was really mean, though. But, um, yeah, Mike Tyson was mean until, but he folded when Holyfield clipped his ass. Mike Tyson was tough until you hurt him. Mike Tyson, uh, a lot of people don't want to admit it, uh, he never responded well when he got hurt. It's going to be real. He was a bully until, you know, because uh, when he when he spit that mouth and he started looking for that and he crawled for that mouthpiece. Speaking of Mike Tyson, let me say this, though. Uh, I'm glad I thought about this. Uh, shoo, shoo, at this point. Listen, Mike Tyson, you done vouched for everybody but black fighters. There is no black fighter Mike Tyson has ever vouched for. You didn't even vouch for Floyd. And you said he hated on you back in the game. But you vouched for David Benavidez. You vouch for Inouye. Uh, you vouch for Canelo. Um, we finally got a black fighter, bro, that he's from Brownsville, bro. I just hope, I would love to see him on hot boxing with Mike Tyson. I would love to see you walk out to the ring. I would love for you to vouch for Shushu Carrington, bro. Uh, Shannon Briggs already doing it. And shout out to Shannon Briggs. Shannon Briggs helped a lot of uh, black uh, black fighters. And shout out to him. You know, I heard some things about uh, Shannon. Shout out to him. But, um... 
This is a fighter. See, because Sugar Ray Leonard didn't embrace Earl Spence. He didn't embrace Terrence Crop. Uh, Holyfield and them, they didn't embrace none of these black. So maybe Shushu can be the first fighter, black fighter, that, that black legends uh, support. Because black legends supported Canelo. Leonard, all of them, Hearns and them, they all said Canelo is the shit. They never vouched for a black fighter. So maybe Shushu can be the one. Shushu, I'm just telling you, you can't overlook him. They try to overlook black fighters all the time. And it's very hard to be a black star, to be a star in boxing as a black. You can't deny. Him. You can't deny. Him. And one more thing I want to say, because Shushu is very versatile. It's going to be some fights where you must, you must be smart in box and not be as vicious and be more defensive. It's going to be some styles you meet where you have to show the sweet science. One thing I, I refuse to let boxing do, I refuse to let boxing take this sweet sauce, this sweet goddamn science out of boxing. I refuse to do it. See, I'm a true boxing fan. I love the fact that Shushu is mean. I love the knockouts. I love the viciousness. But don't get it twisted. I, I will always appreciate pure boxers. I will always appreciate pure boxers because everybody ain't a knockout artist everybody don't have that vicious power and this and that so i appreciate boxing i like brawlers when they're effective i like counter punchers i but i love pure boxers too though i and, and it seems like they're trying to take it out the sport slowly but for surely we already uh, slick boxing is called running let's just call it what it is it's called not exciting it's called boring this is the stigma around effective sweet science boxing it is called boring it's not exciting it's not fan friendly miss me with that bullshit miss me with that bullshit because ali was a slick boxer but he's one of the greatest so don't don't get to talking like the style ain't what it is bro uh nah bro that style has been here since the beginning of boxing and i don't i don't agree with trying to make it as if if you are effective slick boxer that you ain't tough or something. Or that because you ain't going blow for blow in every fight. That you're not tough. Like certain fighters who have to do that because they're very limited. So I, I just don't like that. I don't like that about boxing. Um, nah, bro. It, it's some it's some fighters that, that are just pure boxers. Just like it's some fighters that's brawlers and they don't really know how to box. It's some boxers that really don't brawl. That's not their thing. That ain't everybody thing. Some people brawl because they feel they have to. They don't have a good jab. They don't have the angles and the turns and the pivots. They don't have that. They don't have that kind of sauce. So I refuse to take slick boxing, a hit and not get hit out of boxing. Everybody ain't got to be vicious and get a knockout. I just want to make that very clear. So, um... And like I said, it's going to be some fights where shoot, shoot. You, you may not get the knockout. You may not uh, be the aggressor. It may be a fighter that's a real puncher and you have to be defensive. You can't fight, you know. And I, and I know shoot, shoot, like I said, he's a smart fighter. He's not finna fight fire with fire every fight. Some fights you got to be smart. Some fights, motherfucker, I ain't finna let you hit me with that shit. Just to show these motherfuckers I got heart. That don't mean you got heart. Sometimes it's stupid. So what that's the only thing about Shushu. I don't I don't want you to let fans or promoters uh get you caught up in and I know you, you're getting great knockout. Don't never get don't never get away from that sweet sauce. Don't get away from the science because I think you're a boxer first. I think you're a pure box I've seen you pure box. Straight box. You're a great boxer. Abdullah Mace is a great boxer. Y'all just happen to be uh great punchers too. But don't get away from the science. Don't fall in love with your power so much that you don't be smart in there. So that's my only advice. I'm going to tell you another thing. Shushu Carrington is the most vicious fighter in boxing. I'm going to tell you another thing. Tank is the hardest puncher. Shushu, Shushu and Abdullah Mason, to me, is more vicious than Tank. The mentality. It's not the punching power. It's the mentality. It's the mentality. They more vicious in and out the ring. Shushu, Shushu and Abdullah, they more, them dudes, I, I just don't know. And they different. They're nothing alike. Shushu is nothing like Abdullah. They're totally different. But it's just that cloth. <laughs> whatever, whatever piece of cloth they was cut from, I'm telling you, it was just some pure shit. 
it was some pure cloth that they was cut from. I'm telling you, the cloth that Abdullah and Shushu was cut from, whoever cut it, they was pure. It's just some pure shit. This shit is pure. This shit is some, this shit is, I, I just, I just, I just can't explain it enough. And what I'm saying is, they mentality. I'm telling you right now, Abdullah, man, and I, I predicted, no matter how big they get, they'll never pull, and there ain't no diss to tank. And it's a lot of fighters who pull this bullshit. They'll never get to playing no A side, B side. They'll never get to talking about what you bring to the table. Shushu ain't that kind of dude. Shushu, he gonna bring that 80 shit back. He gonna bring that throw. And don't get it twisted. Leonard should have fought Aaron Pryor. And he should have fought Michael Nunn and Mike McCallum. Now, he gave the white boy LeBlanc a chance. He should have gave Mike McCallum a chance. And and Donald, especially Donald Curry, and he fucked up with Donald Curry. And Donald Curry ended up suing uh, Sugar Ray Leonard. But anyway, that's besides the point. Uh, fighters in the 80s did soft shit too. I'm not just making it like uh, today is soft and the 80s wasn't soft. They did soft shit. So, um, but now, nah, bro, uh, Shushu gonna run to the smoke. Shushu gonna run to the smoke. And you don't want me to tell her nothing. Like I told you, that. You don't want, yeah, you don't want me to say another thing? Uh, <laughs> Shushu right now could clear out 126. Yeah. He could clear out 126. And I'm going to go a step further. Outside of Oshaki Foster. That's a hard fight to call because Oshaki, Oshaki really fight like a veteran. He he he, he only got 20 fights, but he got he got a lot of two. I think shoot. I don't want to say that, but I think he can beat everybody else at uh, 130 right now. It's hard for me to match the uh, Fausto because it's just hard for me to match some shit. I think he got more tools than Fausto, and he really better, but I just, I don't know. But 126, he could clear it out right now, and he could beat Cardina and them. Um, I'm telling you, bro, if in a way, but they ain't going to do it. But I gonna, that fight, it'll never happen because everything in a way do, Shushu is like the, I think he is kryptonite, and that's why I think he's staying on his neck. He on inner way neck. See, nobody talk about that. Shoo Shoo Carrington is on inner way neck. And I love it. I love it. Oh, I love it. And you want to know another thing? Because I offer to make you motherfuckers drop your blunt. Listen. Type in my motherfucking comments. Because I'm going to be bold. Type in my comments if you think Cool Boy Steph beats Shoo Shoo. I think you're on dope and dog food if you say it. Yeah, I think you're on dope. I think you beat Cool Boy right now. I think he'll be Cool Boy right now. It's just what I think, and I think Cool Boy is very good. And not saying it wouldn't be competitive. Just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just giving an example because when Inouye beat him, it made him better than Terrence Crawford. No, when Inouye beat Cool Boy, it made him better than Terrence Crawford. So what I'm saying is, how many of y'all, how many of you motherfuckers, think Cool Boy can beat uh, Shushu right now? I think Shushu will stop Cool Boy. And I, and I and that's a statement. And I said it. I think he stops him. Maybe I'm too excited. Maybe I'm just, maybe I didn't got to hit him. I don't know. But just from the eye test, bro, I don't think nobody fucking with him, bro. I don't think nobody, that motherfucker that just knocked out Robisa Ramirez, I uh, I think, I think, I think Shushu will give him that work. He'll give him that work. He'll give him that work, bro. Um, he be, He'll be Cool Boy right now. He'll beat him. And another thing, I want to see you fight in New York more. At this point, bro, you, you, you hey, listen, I mean in Shoe York, uh, you from the Big Apple, bro. If, if there was ever a star that was supposed to be, if there was ever somebody in New York was supposed, because y'all ain't really had no star. New York has not had no star like that. That's headline in, Mad in the big Madison Square Garden. That there was the star and this and that. Danny Jacobs wasn't that big. He was from Brooklyn. He wasn't that big. Y'all ain't really had none. Well, since Mike Tyson. So, y'all y'all starving for a star uh, out of Brooklyn. That's all I'm saying. So if it was a, if like I said, bro, he can't miss. They can try to hide his name and hide him and not promote him and out. He gonna be a star, you know. And Stephen A. with it, uh, you know. You need to. I, I think you need to be on first take. High boxing with Mike Tyson. I think he should be a superstar, real soon. But like I said, he going to be one of them that even even if they don't try to promote him, even if they try to deny him, you ain't going to be able to, bro. 
You ain't gonna cause I'm gonna tell you another thing, casual fans gonna love him. It ain't just die hard by casual fans gonna love Shushu. They love him. They gonna love him. They gonna love him, bro. It he he crawled, he he checked all uh bases, bro. He got it all. You can't miss. If you like pure boxing, he got it. If you like a motherfucker that'll fight, he'll fight. Got it all. And to have the inside game that he got with only 11 fights, it's just spectacular to me. It's spectacular to me. I'm telling you, bro, um, I damn near want to go and put him on my pound for pound list. He's going to surpass these dudes. He's going to surpass a lot of these dudes. It's a lot of these dudes right now. It's very good. He gonna surpass them. Between Abdullah and 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 and, and Bruce, I just and I love Keyshawn. I love Tiger Johnson. Love him. Uh, Khalil Cole, a bad mother. I just don't think up and coming outside of Shushu, bro, and Abdullah, they just take it to another level to me. They just go to an. It's another level. It's just another level I see in Shushu, bro. It's different. It's his mentality. He want to be great so bad, bro. He want it bad. And that's another thing about it. It's not just that he mean. He want it. And he'll take it. He want it in, bro. He'll come to your city. He'll come to your country. He going to take what's his, bro. Just telling you, bro. I'm just telling you. You may not believe in the sauce right now. But in time, like like Elder Boys, in time it will reveal. Yeah, in time it'll reveal that uh Bruce Hushu Carrington is a superstar. He's the meanest, most vicious fighter in boxing. And I, and, and you know another thing? And he tough. It's a lot of fighters really ain't tough. It's a lot of fighters ain't tough. He tough. 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 I be going all day, but I just I just had to give you a flower, bro. I, I can't let it go. I'm just telling you, he's gonna become a superstar. It's gonna be real soon, and it just you just can't get around it. And his his performances will get just better and better. And I, we ain't seen half of him. We ain't seen half of what he got, and just half of what I've seen. Just seeing half of what he showed me, it, he better than most. He'll be cool boy right now. I want to reiterate that shit. I want to say that. I wish he started calling Cool Boy. Yeah, if Cool Boy could bring his ass over to uh, top rank to fight in a way, you should be able to bring your ass over to fight uh, uh, Shushu. But one thing I know about black fighters, they don't really want to give another young black fighter a chance. Cool Boy ain't finna do that shit. <laughs> he wouldn't even fight Reese Saleem. And Reese, Reese Saleem was, was his mandatory for years. But uh, that's just how we do. But he flew his ass way to Japan and collected that money and some more shit and came out looking timid and accepted that knockout and some more shit and been showing pictures ever since and showing the cars that the J Japanese people uh, pay for and all the other shit. But I'm just telling you, bro, he'll beat Cool Boy right now. He'll beat him right now. Right now. Right now, in my opinion. Not saying it wouldn't be competitive. Not saying Cool Boy wouldn't put up a good fight. Because Cool Boy do got a little experience. It's certain things that we, he, he'd have to get past the jab for sure. It's certain things, but he's stronger than uh, Cool Boy to me. And he more vicious. He'll hurt him, bro. He'll hurt him. And he faster. He'll hurt him. I'm guaranteed he'll hurt Cool Boy. He'll hurt him, bro. He'll hurt him. I am, I am completely convinced right now. He'll hurt Cool Boy, bro. It ain't me trying to act like I just want to see Cool Boy get well. I'm just telling you, the same shit anyway just did. Shushu can do it right now. And I just would love to see it happen. That way we can go and compare it. Now, y'all said anyway was so spectacular when he done it. Cool Boy, I'm, Shushu would do the same thing right now. So what does that say? Does that make uh, Shushu Carrington number one pound for pound better than Terrence Crawford? Because he can do Cool Boy the same way anyway, Donald? Does it make him number one? So it's just double standard. And it just shit I always got to call out. And this is sauce. And this sauce will forever remain. This is 903 Boxing. I am your host, Charles Jack. With that, I'm out.